What's good world, it's your boy Phil. I'm prepping for this storm. I'm hunkering down. I'm about to put my little, all my extra shit that I got outside and we're about to, uh, you know, basically try to prevent some floods from happening. So that's what it's like living in Florida. Um, even though you see me standing, doesn't mean that I'm okay. You know, my hip is still jacked up, but I gotta push through and make sure that the flood doesn't get in my house. Uh, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. And that's what we're gonna do is hunker it down, get ready to make sure that the house isn't destroyed, you know, so that way we can still have our videos and our talks and stuff like that. So, because obviously we can't depend on our government, right? You know, many people say, oh, you need to be mad at Congress because Congress is the one that says how much they get. Yeah, but see, what you're not also realizing is the press secretary confirmed that they used FEMA funds to pay for migrants under the under the umbrella of humanitarian aid. OK, so they lying to y'all. They lying to y'all. They putting all these people in trying to win the election and they realize, damn, um, maybe this migrant idea is, is a bad idea. That's what they're realizing. And they're throwing everything. And that's why I feel like Kamala Harris and, and Biden, they're throwing away the election because they already understand that they're not going to win the election. They've already lost everybody. They lost black people. They lost definitely white people. They lost Hispanics. They lost Chinese people. Like They losing money. <laughs> Like, it's insane what's happening right now. And so, you know, and they're creating wars in other places. And then on top of that, while they're telling everybody else, hey, everybody, um, we ain't got enough money. They're Kamala and the secretary Blinken guy. They're saying, oh, we got a, We got one hundred fifty seven million for Lebanon. Huh? So you got you got funds. You literally showing everybody. You got funds to roll out the red carpet, just like that black girl said. You got funds to roll out the red carpet, right? You got those funds to just do all of that. But when it comes to the American citizen that can prove themselves with a license, with a birth certificate, with a social security card, with saying the Pledge of Allegiance, reciting it word for word. Like this is how you know you, this is how you know you a citizen. I pledge, the, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Now, if you caught yourself trying to recite it, then you know, because we said it every day at school. So, but people, you know, hopefully this storm doesn't tear me up because, uh, you know, it's a big storm. It's a huge storm. Some people are gonna tell me, Phil, get out of there. Listen. I am a Floridian, okay? We've been through real bad storms and, and trust it could tear this house apart, who knows? But I do know one thing, I got my hard drive and I got my shares in there, my OG Ape shares, and I'm not selling, period, I'm not selling. And I'm telling you hedge funds out there, it doesn't matter what happens, I'm still gonna be here, okay? I'm still gonna be here. I'm still gonna be making it hell for you motherfuckers. Yeah. Listen, the Democrats have shown everybody, specifically Democrats, they have shown everybody that they're gonna use every way to finesse people and their trigger their emotions and they have no issues to stand on. Like, the, the issues are you're, you have bad spending habits. You're just showing us every day, you're just blowing money every day to other countries you're not blowing it on the on the america you're not like fixing roads and shit i mean yeah you might you know send a little help here or there but we supposed to be first fuck everybody else we supposed to be first we don't have the funds to sit around and be like oh we trick we tricks make it rain trick ukraine ain't sent nobody no pussy Ukraine ain't saying nobody know nothing. What the fuck is beneficial as an American citizen to send money to Ukraine? What benefit What benefit is that for me? I don't see the benefit. I haven't felt none of those benefits since that shit started happening. I haven't felt any benefits of paying billions to Israel. 
I haven't felt any benefits spending billions with Ty uh, Taiwan. I haven't felt any benefits of spending with Lebanon. And that's the other part. How the fuck you send billions to Israel and to bomb Lebanon, okay? And then right after that say, hey guys, I'm gonna send 157 million to Lebanon so they could rebuild. What? When you send money like that for wars, like you're either you're money laundering or you're just a complete fucking retard. It is that simple, bruh. It is that simple, bruh. See, you're fucking with my money. You're fucking with, they're fucking with your money, viewers out there. They fucking with your money. And I'm telling you right now, many people out there are just so lost. They're just so lost because they're still upset at Trump. Trump is a scam. Trump is a liar. He's His trickle-down economics doesn't work. Meanwhile, they was benefiting from him being in office. They all got STEMI checks. They all was getting jobs. They all had money coming right here. They benefited from it. That was the... that. <laughs> And the fucked up part is they all fell for Rachel Maddow. Rachel Maddow had y'all seeing Russia collusion for four fucking years. Russia collusion. Adam Schiff had y'all seeing Russia collusion for four fucking years. And both of them are studs. Studs. And I'm talking about like, yeah, they, they studs. But... Now they got you screaming abortions. Abortion, oh my gosh. You're gonna, I mean, are you gonna make it federal? You're asking you're asking Trump to be a dictator by making abortion legal federally. Do you understand? Like you're trying to make him a dictator while saying he's a dictator. You're trying to like and that's the fucked up part. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. All you all you folk out there that challenge me with this shit, listen, ain't nothing making sense and you know I'm right. You know I'm right. So what you need to understand is America has to come first and then everybody can start talking about those other issues you care about. Right now we going broke for motherfuckers that don't even pay us back. We going broke for motherfuckers that come here with that musty ass sweater, that black sweater Zelensky be wearing. Like, come on, bro, you ain't changed that sweater yet, bro. All that money you got, you could at least like show you got some new clothes. Nah, he know how to, he's panhandling foreign style oh yes uh i'm always struggling help help nah bruh nah bro we i'm not falling for that shit i ain't falling for that shit at all that shit whack bruh it's whack as fuck but like i said i'm preparing for this big storm that you know harp done created because they're mad at the you know the floridians that's voting for trump they already know we voting for trump we already see like like bruh like the money's the money's scarce it's scarce as fuck. Meanwhile, many people out there are just protest voting. You're protest voting and you don't know what you're talking about. It's insane. So you're 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 voting for Kamala because you claim that Trump is a liar. But he lied this many times. That's all he does is lie. Okay. Let's look at his results though. Okay? Look at what's happening to you right now. Do you understand? I want all you all you Kamala supporters understand this. The money is going down from the Federal Reserve. That means they not getting their money back from all the banks they're paying. Do you understand that? Okay. And it's funny because some of you Democrats out there are holding AMC and GME. You're holding to the moon, except what you don't realize is Kamala is preventing your moon. By literally saying, I'm going to ignore the Federal Reserve. So if you're trying to mow ass for real, then you need to be voting for Trump. You need to you need to be advocating to vote for Trump because he's the wild card that you need to fix the economy, to gut, the, to gut this shit the right way to fix it. Because it's not going in your pockets, it's going to other motherfuckers. And then if you try to get money you need to qualify and then when you qualify you need to pay that shit back that doesn't like upset some of y'all 
This is everybody. All 50, all 52 states. This don't accept. This is like, come on. I'm sure everybody else in the, in the U, uh, U, uh, in the United Kingdom and Britain and Germany, like everybody's looking at the same. They're going through the same shit. Democrats that oh you guys are you're racist you're you lack moral equivalency whole time they're just extracting the funds out your fucking pocket liars liars no one's gonna trust them anymore no one's trusting democrat like i mean if you thought trump was bad you need to understand how bad democrats are literally i told you oh literally i posted on my on my twitter on my twitter x the guy from MSNBC, he said, look, I was a never Trumper, but what Kamala and Biden doing right now is the equivalency of January 6th, like treason, because you're paying everything we have, everything we work for to the, uh, like everybody else. And then when the American people need something, we got to fix shit ourselves. We got to prepare for the storm and be ready. We gotta find resources. We gotta qualify. And if we qualify, we gotta pay it back? Meanwhile, migrants come over here, they just get a bag, free bag. Yeah, here you go, here you go, just take what you want. It don't matter. You speak You speak a Spanish? Yeah, okay, cool. You, you speak Creole? Okay, cool, all right, well, sure, just come on over here, just come on over here. Meanwhile, it's actual immigrants that have done things the right way. They pay, they learn the English language, right? They pledged allegiance to the flag to be citizens. They did it the right way. I respect those people. I respect them to the utmost. But I'm not respecting you motherfuckers that just jump on over here and thinking, oh yeah, help me, please help me. Nah, fuck y'all, y'all gotta go back over there. And when Trump gets in office, you're going to hear all, all, all about it. People are going to be upset because Trump going to send that task force team on y'all. Y'all going to be like, oh, my God, Project 2025 is happening. Nah, he's just going over there to handle business and get these motherfuckers out of here because they've taken up all our fucking resources. America's known to ball. That's what we known for. We known for balling. Not stalling, not struggling, not none of that shit. We known to ball. And that's what y'all need to realize. And if you don't like that, there's other ways you can fly your ass out of here. That's just how it goes. And this is from a, a, a black man telling you this. Okay? So don't worry, don't worry about don't worry about me. I'm good. I'll get it on my own. And I'm and I'm disabled. I'll still get it on my own. Because I'm an American. No excuses. No mercy. None of that bullshit that y'all talking about out there. Oh, we have to help and help and help. No, we fucking don't. What the fuck, man? We have to help help everybody. We have to help every. No, the fuck we don't. When y'all turn on those feed the children, when y'all see the feed the children commercials, are you immediately sending fifty dollars? Can you show us your receipts? When y'all see the animal shelter commercials, are you immediately going to buy dogs? When y'all see all these fucking commercials come on TV, uh, you know, the Catholic Church to, you know, cancer commercials, are you immediately blowing money out your pocket to help them? No, you're not. You got your own fucking problems to deal with. Stop trying to make everybody in America live in your altered reality. The reality is we're going flat broke because you're spending all our fucking money and you're helping criminal hedge funds run from fucking margin calls. So take it from me, a man down here in Florida, I'm having to fix this shit, my fucking self, and making sure that I protect my fucking family. So that's what I'm about to fucking do. So don't blame me if I don't fucking vote for you. I'm not voting for you motherfuckers to keep blowing money in other countries while other countries, you can't even help your fucking country? When, where the fuck is other countries sending humanitarian aid to the fucking United States? Where the fuck are they at? They're nowhere to be fucking found. 
They waiting on America to blow their bag. No one's respecting America right now. They just waiting on America to just blow the bag. And then when we don't have no money to fight back. Like I said, I ain't fear mongering. I know what happens. And, and I'm going to quote Plies because Plies loves to quote and loves to talk about Kamala Harris. And, and Plies, I, I listen to your album. I grew up listening to you. But I'm going to quote you. It's like this. They say don't go to war unless your money right. Yeah. So just remember, when we losing our money, we can't just go to war. We can't. We broke. And other countries are knowing that. That's why they run into the gold. They getting ready to fight us. So I suggest you stop capping for Kamala. Stop capping for Biden. And put Trump in office. So we ball. Like Snow on the Bluff say, fuck them. We ball. And I'm out.